Hi, this is KT from KT Freshwater Prawns. If you are thinking about raising freshwater prawns, in this video, I will show you an easy and low cost way to start and see if this is right for you. Okay, here's a, here's a few items that you will need to get uh, going. You will need a water filter. This is a Whispered 60 model. You will need uh, some water treatment. I use stress coat, an air pump, some netting for substrate, and some zip ties. You will also need a container. I use this plastic 50 gallon totes that I got from Walmart for about uh, $20. Uh, before you use them, you will need to soak this uh, container uh, with almost full capacity for about a week to remove any chemicals, scents, or odor that may be uh, harming the, the prawns. You will need to empty this container and refill it with new water and treat it with stress coat. Now this is what I use uh, mainly at home for my, all my prawns and fishes. So I would recommend stress coat. Okay well when filling this tote with water you need to be careful when you fill the water too high it will push that rim out and my burst so you may need to reinforce it uh, to keep that from happening uh, you may need to uh, build a wood frame uh, hold it together so that will keep that in so it won't burst you would then need to remove one of the handles uh, so you can put the water filter uh, on there the reason uh, I use this side is because it's more sturdy and it can hold the uh, water filter properly. Since prawns don't produce a lot of waste, uh, this filter should be enough to keep the water clean. Uh, you need to flush the filter pads out once a week and replace the filter pads uh, once a month. And that should uh, keep the water nice and clean. Next you will need the air pump. Uh, you need to find a good suitable place. I would put it on top of the uh, the filter. Uh, keep it up there and just drop it in. Okay, we got uh, everything in. But uh, I forgot the most important thing, which is the water heater. Uh, in this size uh, container, uh, you would use a 300 watt water heater. The water heater needs to be set between 80 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. You would then need to build substrate using, using this netting. Uh, it needs to be cut to about 12 inches in length and tied together with zip tie. The netting should be rolled up uh, with about 3 to 4 inches in diameter and then you use a zip tie uh, to tie it in. So pretty much that's just uh, loop the zip tied in just to hold it in place. This will create your substrate for the prongs. Uh, you can make as many as you want. Uh, the more you have in there the better that will give the prongs a chance to uh, get away from the others uh, when they molt. Uh, you can cross stack them, build it up if you want, uh, but the number of substrate depends on how many prongs you will have in the container. This uh, 50 gallon container can hold anywhere from 30 to about uh, 100 juveniles. Once the prawns get bigger, you're going to have to limit it down to a couple dozen at most in this container uh, if you want them to get to about 3 to 4 inches uh, in length. In this container, I have a couple dozen in here that are about 3 to 4 inches in length. Uh, I will continue to add more substrate and uh, to give them a little more time to grow. Remember, feeding is twice a day, uh, morning and evening, and feed as much as a prawn can consume in about 15 minutes. Okay, everything is up and running with the water filter running at full swing and the air pump running. Uh, there should be plenty of water and air. Uh, circulation in the container to give the prawns plenty of oxygen uh, to grow and to drive in the container. 
Well, I hope the information is uh, good enough to help some of you out there get started. And uh, good luck. And let me know how it turns out for you if you decide to start uh, raising freshwater prawns. Uh, feel free to uh, post it on here and uh, let me know. Okay, guys, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you find this uh, information helpful. And good luck. Until next time, bye.